ladies and gentlemen, as we are about to start, may I humbly request the presence of the Prince Ezekiah, who is the official master of the ceremony, that's the man that will anchor this occasion this evening. Can you please come into the microphone as the occasion is about to start? Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you. Almighty and eternal God, we thank you for this day. We thank you for this opportunity you have given us to be here to celebrate with our founder, engineer, Mrs. Odia, who is 50 years. Go to Jubilee. Lord, we ask you to continue to shower your blessings upon her. We beg you to give her many more years. We beg you that you continue to feed her with many good things. And for all those who have come to celebrate with her, that you continue to bless them and feed them with many good things. That this ceremony of today will be a blessing, will be a memorable day for all of us. And as we go back, that God will be in front to lead us, will be behind to guide us. And that you will stay with us throughout this ceremony. That you will continue to be glorified. We ask that it is through Christ our Lord. Mr. Michael Mofuma, General Manager of the Betis Motors, 
Libra. Mr. Michael, not where you are welcome. Let me also recognize the presence of our very good friend, Amado Brenner.
the bombing and all the attacks, if it gets close to any eastern region of this country, yeah, well, I would do. Because the evil man will not joke close to what will spoil business for him. So mommy, whether you like it or not, I greeted a woman one morning. I said, Mama, good 
money. Now that I know, say, old oh, women, no, they, you know. She warned me. They, what's wrong with you? You're very stupid. <laughs> me and your mama, who's senior? If you call me mama again, I'll kill you. I said, ah, mama, no, don't call me mama. Okay, what did I'll call you? Call me oh baby. And they are not say, nobody be old woman again. So, what we're seeing here is a handwork of our very lovely man, husband, friend, and father of the celebrant. They say, behind every successful man, there is a word. Behind every successful woman. Eh? Ah, men, on the fear, there is who? Uh -huh. If not, this birthday for no hold now. Huh? Hello? Hello? Ladies and gentlemen, we want to see a display of love right here in presence of all friends, distinguished guests, invitees, family members, and well wishers that came to celebrate with the audience. I want us to listen, listen, and listen real attentively as I hand over the microphone to our honorable engineer, Clifford Odia, to give Mommy, a very lovely birthday and romantic birthday song so that we will all know what is happening at home being displayed here in public. If, if you are not in support, let me know. Are you in support? Hello? Uh -uh, why the reason? Are you in support or not? If you support, it, say yay. If you don't support, say nay. The years have it. The years have it.
from just one more thing, sir, please. I, I beg. So we want to see it in display. Daddy, uh, by the grace of God, we know that everybody wants to see the practical display and expression of that song. If you really love mommy, to show everybody here present, I want to quickly say it will be very, very, very expedient for you to go close to mommy and show us in a very lovely kiss. No, 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 daddy, that's wonderful. Uh, daddy, you can kiss mommy to prove to us. of this federation. Ladies and gentlemen, please, a round of applause for Barista Pascal Obome as he steps forward to propose the toast for our mommy's birthday, 50th birthday celebration. A round of applause for Barista Pascal Obome. Thank you very much. situation on our hands. Very many people are standing. I'd like to request that something be done about their situation right now. We don't celebrate Golden Jubilee every day, so there's no reason for anybody to be standing. We have enough chairs. May I request that more chairs be brought into the arrangement. Uh, If I may borrow the words of my friends, the one we call the best, distinguished in waiting, the best wife, the best mother, the best friend. I'm talking of Dora, Ehibuari, alias Dr. Moro Moro. I'm sure some of you are knowing for the first time that Dora is also known as Dr. Moro Moro. Yes. But I like, I beg to disagree with the reason for which she was given that title. Since she is the director in the house without a certificate. You cannot have those wonderful kids and say there's no certificate. Those kids are more this certificate. They are certificates. This could have to get up for Dr. Moro Moro. She's not just directing. She's indeed in charge, and she's productively directing. And we have the fruits of the ice in this wonderful pamphlet. But I dare say that uh, the testimony, you know, of all the people that are acquainted with her, her co-directors, members of staff, her husband, her kids, testify to one thing: that in her, you can say all the elements are freely mixed, and that God indeed. If you have the privilege of visiting them at uh, the village, you will enjoy some very sweet and delicious remarule. If you don't know what that is, you can ask me later. But it's that soup that rolls, and if you are not careful, you have mustard like myself, you will have evidence that you ate her okoro soup. <laughs> very beautiful woman. of God and people, a great companion, a great friend, a great support, not only for her husband, but for all her husband's friends and relatives. 
tips. Huh? It's indeed a wonderful occasion. What we celebrate this afternoon, this evening, is the anointing of God's spirit that has been invested into this great woman. She personifies God, and that is love. So, having said that, I'd like to request that we all be upstanding with your glasses charged. If you don't have a glass, you can clench your fist, but don't put it on somebody's jaw. Ensure that you have something in your glass. You can wind it up, you can water it, but ensure that you have. Please, ladies and gentlemen, can we all be upstanding? Can we all be upstanding to toast? We'd like to request the celebrant to sit down. Please sit down, we are toasting to you. Are we all standing now? We toast to good health. We toast to increased grace. We toast to increased ability. We toast to increased prosperity. We toast to increased speed, increased accuracy, increased knowledge, increased wisdom and understanding. And we declare that 50 years down the line, we all be gathered here again with a bigger atrium to celebrate Centenary birthday. To that we say, hey, beep, beep. Hey, beep, beep. Hey, beep, beep. For she is a jolly good fellow. For she is a jolly good fellow. For she is a jolly good fellow. And so say all of us. And so, so all. Again, 
with a bigger atrium to celebrate her centenary birthday. To that we say, ABP! 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 For she is a jolly good fellow. For she is a jolly good fellow. For she is a jolly good fellow. Five 
Matthew 15 on it. Shut speech. One minute of an explanatory word. Okay, let me quickly invite the kids, the children of our dear mommy, our celebrant, the children of engineer and Mrs. Dora Odia. I may not know them all, but uh, I know I've seen one or two of them here present. Them are outside the country. One couldn't make it for some very, very wonderful reasons. But we have two of them here. Represented here. The cake is set here before us because it defines love. And you can see both of them they display the love when they ask them to do that. This green here defines fertility, of which God has already blessed them with many fruits of food. And we thank God that they gather here, God they continue to bless them in their life in the mighty name of Jesus. For how many children? Some wonderful decades of years ago, ladies and gentlemen, sir and lady, Apodare, Awodare, Joe Awodare, so please join them on the cake stand. A big round of applause, please. You can clap if you know what it means to sponsor a marriage. And also, let's invite Mark Osima. your name, you are needed to join them at the cake stand.
the guy should be presented to the wife. Let the friends come out. You see, when you are a wife of a man of honor, you are so honorable. This woman is a mother, is a friend. Congratulations, man. God bless you and your husband. From today, your husband, as you know, is popularly known as Chief. So you see, he's being honored today for his wonderful contribution to the development and growth of his life. May God bless you.
for a purpose. And you are testifying with me that up to the time she has lived, she has performed that purpose. We are witness to it. And I say to God, be the glory. The honor be to our mother Mary. She's been a mother to so many young ladies. And I believe that God, who kept her up to this moment, will continue to cap up the work she has started at the end of her life to see the glorious vision of our Lord Jesus Christ, who Christ our Lord.
us presenting them because, ladies and gentlemen, we have no other thing to do but to hear from the celebrant right now. On the program, you can see that the celebrant must make a speech before we move and proceed to the vote of thanks. Ladies and gentlemen, please, if you love 50 and golden years of celebration, I want you to put your hands together in appreciation for what God has done in the life of engineer Mrs. Dora Odia as she makes a very, very lovely speech for us to follow. Please put your hands together for her. Hold your gift, please. Please. Hold your gift. It's not time yet for presentation. A round of applause for the celebrant. A round of applause.
and the security power outside, great things must be happening today. For all of you who came here for various reasons, for various Thanksgiving, we want to welcome you and pray that you take a special effort to give thanks to God for the years of life and for the many special blessings He has bestowed. My brother Chris here, Father Francis, Father Rex, Father Peter, all from the Roman Diocese that was dead. They have introduced themselves at the end of the Mass. Let us now focus our attention on what we are here for. We are here to adore the living God, to express our total dependence on Him, to bring our heads humbly before Him, and as we are conscious of our sins, we ask Him. I read it from the eyes of the apostles. When Saul from Jerusalem, he tried to join the disciples, but they were all afraid of him. They could not believe he was really a disciple. Barnabas, however, took charge of him, introduced him to the apostles, and explained how the Lord had appeared to Saul and spoken to him on his journey, and how he had preached boldly at the masters in the name of Jesus. Saul now started to go around with them in Jerusalem, preaching fearlessly in the name of the Lord. But after he had spoken to the enemies, he argued with them. They became determined to kill him. The churches throughout the day, Galilee and Samaria, we are now left in peace. Giving themselves
My children, our love is not just words or hands of God, but something real and active. Only by this can we be certain that we are the children of the truth and be able to find in our conscience in His presence whatever accusations it may raise against us, because God is greater than our conscience and He knows everything. My dear people, if we cannot be condemned by our own conscience, we need not be afraid in God's presence. And whatever we ask Him, we shall receive, because we keep His commandments and live the kind of life that He wants. His commandments are these that we believe in the name of His Son Jesus Christ and that we love one another as He told us to. We know that He lives in us by the Spirit that He has given us. Thy way
Alright, you're welcome. Mama, if you are about, if you were to be asked about uh, the celebration of the 50th birthday, of uh, Angelo, what would you say? Happy birthday. 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 Happy like God just used two of them to we as a member in the church. They are very nice. The husband did his new service in an NPC when he finished uh, his school. The wife also did the same new service in an NPC. They all met there and all, both of them were under my husband, Mr. F.K. Akimi, is their boss. So since I know them, they have been so nice, they are a good family, they are devoted to God. The wife does not pamper herself, she always very humble. The husband, whether he is in this town, nobody knows, except you come here. After church, you just came back to the house. So the family is something we should th thank God, that if every family becomes like their own, in fact this world will be a better place for everybody. They don't pose. They have everything, they don't, they have everything, if you need everything, they have it. At least they are the best, one of the people that buy the highest uh, harvest, uh, all right. tens, all right, mother. So and what, pay cash. Yeah, all right, mother, what would you tell uh, madam, now that, tell she's, her, now that she's celebrating her 50th birthday? Yes, I would tell her more grace to her help, because it's not an easy thing for somebody to clock 50. And immediately you are clock 50, Life start at 50. It's now she will enjoy the home, enjoy friends, enjoy God. This is the time you are training his children. None, none of them are baby again. This is the time you really focus in church activities. She will always be there, worshiping God, thanking God for his grace, for his love. It's not everybody that can witness or celebrate a golden jubilee. It's not easy. So it's a pleasure for her, and I wish her a very good long life and prosperity. Everything she wishes herself, God Almighty will also wish to her and the family. All right, thank you very much, Madam. Thank you. Have a good day. Thank you. Uh, so we understand that uh, your wife uh, just celebrated her 58th uh, year her birthday. So how do you feel now that she's celebrating? I feel very happy to go. I see a small girl of yesterday, Tony Fifteen. I feel gratified. Thank God for, for this single opportunity yesterday okay, to her and to the family to do the school. So what would you say uh, where we shall that came far away to create this one of location? I so thank them for honoring us and resting presence. I also pray. Some of them that are not up to 50 years yet, I will sustain them to achieve that age and beyond. For those that are above the age, I will thank them again once more. For the Lord, they have demonstrated for the audience for me. And I am eternally grateful to them. Thank you very much, sir. Have a good day, sir. All right, what do you have to tell uh, uh, mommy? Now that she's celebrating her 50th birthday. Okay, I wish her a very. I wish her so many more 50 years ahead. I'm grateful to know that I met her and I know her. She has positively impacted on my life. And I say thank you. Alright, thank you very much. Have a great day. How are you today? Sir, please, can we meet you? Pastor Richard Ibera is I'm the senior brother to the celebrant, immediate senior brother to the celebrant. And only senior brother, Kwanu. <laughs> oh, all right. <laughs> so, sir, what would you have to tell her now that she's celebrating her 50th birthday? Uh, first is, I, I spoke to her on phone before I came, that she should be very grateful to God because in a country with a life expectancy of 49. A man who lives to be 40 or a woman who lives to be 40 needs to thank God. And it's by the grace of God. 
And I'm sure if we look through her life, we'll find out there were some times at which we as a family we were apprehensive. And God took her through all of that. One, thank God. Two, what else? Ask God for more days in good health, yes. in prosperity. Not just that, to affect lives for God. Because if you look at Isaiah 43, verse 7, it says we were created for His glory. So except we are giving glory to God, we are missing the purpose. So he needs to find out what God's mandate for her is and to begin to give glory to God. And uh, what is life? The fact that I'm not able to make it doesn't mean that I'm the best person on earth. It doesn't mean that I'm faithful to God. It is just His mercy and His love upon my life. And I give Him all the glory, I give Him all the adoration. Uh, I equally want to thank my husband, who has nurtured me from a very tender age, from what we call marriage, up to this period. He's been a wonderful husband. He's been a marvelous husband. A man who has given me a life, a man who has given me a stressful life, I will continue to stress that stress. Because whatever you eat and whatever you have, if you are under stress, everything comes to see. My husband has really given me a stressed life, and to that I am grateful to him. Just as I said this today, I said it publicly. But I appreciate him. I equally want to thank my children, they be wonderful children. But then Italy, wonderful. You know when your children are not doing well in school, you have cause to be very stressed or very happy. In that area, God has been very, very kind to me. So I feel very happy to be 50. I look at my major family, where I'm coming from. They too have contributed to making this golden life a possibility. To all, I say thank you. And to God, without whom, nothing can be achieved. I give him what he does, I give him what he glory. Thank you. All right, uh, madam. Uh, what do you have to tell uh, those people that actually came to grace oh this gosh. wonderful location? There is no word, no statement, not even a book written will be enough to turn those claim of people that gathered yesterday to honor me. So came as far as from Lagos, from Abuja, from Metro State, and as hot as that hall was, they were not bothered. They kept finding themselves, they stayed with me from the beginning to the end, no mind did they hate. I really appreciated them. Ask God to bless them, and they will also have cause to rejoice. All right, madam, thank you very much. And on behalf of uh, the men of the press, say congratulations. Thank you you too have been wonderful, and I look forward to seeing what you have covered. All right, from yesterday <laughs> to the church, now back to my home. Okay, you thank you. We're going to give you the best much. of the best. Thank you very much. Have a nice day, madam. Should give me best because I won't be 50 again. <laughs> I really want to have the best of this 50 because I'm not going to be 50 again. You can only be 50 oh, once. Okay. And it's a landmark in life. All right, thank you very much. Thank you. Have a good day. Thank you.